Hello, my name is Sarah, and this is Sarah's Musical Tidbits. <laughs> this channel's brand spanking new. I have a different channel, but I keep wanting to talk about musical theater stuff. Stuff I pick up on the field or in experience, internships and professional contracts and all of that. I am about to graduate college. Yes, I'm young. What do I know? But I know a lot because I am trying to gain a lot, and I have a lot to share. And if you want to learn from me, which I am still learning, every actor is still out there learning no matter how many years you've done it, it just depends on how much information you have gained. And I've gained a lot from my age and I thought there's a lot I think I should put out there, especially since, <laughs> why not, I guess. This is me looking all natural after rehearsal and we've all had that if you're who I'm aiming to talk to. Um, if you go to rehearsal and you come back, you look like blah. And that happened to me. I'm currently doing the Adams Family Musical at Lee's McRae College. It is opening in a week. Uh, tech week is starting tomorrow. <sighs> Anywho, um, I just want to share what I know with everyone else and talk about how to handle certain situations and how to remain professional. And this is my dog, which is not professional. You don't bring your dog on stage unless they're a stage dog. And this, um, this needs to go. Bye-bye. You might see animals popping in and out. I do have life outside of theater pets. Anywho, I'm trying to stay focused here because my brain is fried. Went an hour over today. Um, today's topic. Hmm, where can we start first? Well, I mean, I guess since my resume is here, we can start with resumes. Uh, resumes. All right, so see how I glued this? This is wrong. How to attach a resume. I have learned recently that the best way, even though I think I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like staples in resumes and headshots. But everyone's going to tell you something different, too. I've recently heard that the best way is to do staples, but make sure your name is on the front and on the back. Because otherwise, if it gets separated, they don't know who to put together. The reason why it's better to use staples than to print it back to back. Well, it's also situational. If you're going to a big convention, you're handing them out, and you're trying to get a job, staples. Why? Because what they like to do, is you can't do it with this one, because this is one of my old ones I was just experimenting with. That's why it never went anywhere. Uh, they like to take apart the pictures put them up, you're like, okay, I saw this person, I match it with the names, and this is the resume, and they're like, okay, this pile, this pile, but they want to keep the resume separate sometimes. It just varies, because everything is different. Everywhere you go, someone might like something a little bit different. But if you're going to a cattle call, that's what I have heard. Um, at least I heard last year. Things change all the time, so it could be out of date. But this is just a tidbit from me, Sarah. And that's all I have for you right now because I want to do one little tidbit for each video. Okay, stay happy. And I don't have a catchphrase yet because this is new. So insert catchphrase here. Bye, like, and subscribe for more.